All right. Are we ready? Hey, everybody. I am Robbie, and this is Sweet Seachus. Behind the camera is Dennis. Dennis, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, we are a startup candy store uh, that we started just before the coronavirus um, started. So since we are not able to open, we thought we would bring you these sort of live demos of uh, candies that you can make at home. Last week we did peanut butter cups, today we're doing uh, gummy drops, gummy worms, uh, those kind of gummy things, <laughs> which aren't my favorite, <laughs> but lots of people love them. Um, uh, we're also trying to get um, likes on our Sweet Sieges Facebook page. We also have a Twitter page, a uh, Instagram page, and a YouTube channel. So feel free to go out there, like us. Uh, we're trying to get above that golden 5,000 5, like mark um, so that we can start maybe getting uh, more pages and grow this uh, organically. Um, we've been trying to think of a way to make it even a little more exciting uh, than just you guys watching me make candies. So we thought, how can we make it into a drinking game? So I'm gonna pass this out there to all of you guys. What is it that I say too much of, so, or um, and every time I say that, we take a drink. Um, <laughs> there we go, um, <laughs> maybe that's the word. I am drinking uh, a rum and fruit juice, and Dennis is drinking vodka and orange juice. So, let's get into it. Um, I don't know if we're having some technical difficulties. Hopefully everybody um, can, can see us. I'm not getting any feed here. Um, so I'm just gonna refresh my page here. This way I can make, I can see who's out uh, in video land and I can see if we have uh, any questions or anything. And if you're up there, say hi, send a love, let me know where you're, where you're uh, vid videoing in from. We think we figured out the buffering issue from last weekend. Uh, so we'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay, gummies, gummy worms, um, gummy bears, gum drops, those kind of things. You can make them at home, they're fairly easy. Easy. Um, and you don't need complicated molds or anything like that to make them. But if you do, what you can use for your molds, if you happen to have a silicone mold, this is just a regular silicone mold, you can get it at uh, any uh, candy, place that sells candy supplies, you can get it online. Um, if you make it in one of these, what you'll want to do is you'll put this into the refrigerator uh, so that your candies harden up and then they come out of the mold a lot easier. You can also use uh, an open mold. If you're using the silicone mold, they're all in little bite-sized pieces. You don't need to do any cutting. If you're using a mold like this or a small pan, you want to take some aluminum foil you want to very lightly coat it with a uh, non-flavorful oil. So just take a drop on a piece of paper, paper towel, wipe it onto the foil, then you just push the foil into the pan, to the bottom of the pan. Make sure you go up on all the sides. It's not very good. I've been watching Julia Child uh, the past few days, um, and she doesn't do a very good job of this either. <laughs> uh, so you just want to make sure that it goes up on the sides a little bit so that when we pour the um, gummy candy liquid into it, it doesn't stick to the side of the pan. We, today, if you don't have those, we are gonna do it uh, in a sugar mold. We're gonna make our own sugar mold just using, uh, today we're just gonna use a nine by 13 sheet, sheet pan, cookie pan. You have to make sure it has a little bit of, a, of an edge because we need to build the sugar up and we're gonna push molds into it couple of ingredients that we're going to use. We're going to use uh, gelatin, water, corn syrup. Here in Spain, corn syrup is really hard to find um, until I discovered actually what they call it. So here in Spain, they call it glucose. Once you know what you're looking for, it's really easy to find. But if you want to use a corn, name brand corn syrup base, actually here uh, in Sitges, a taste of home, uh, carries it and they usually always have it in stock. 
Uh, I looked online at Amazon and places like that. Really expensive, so I don't I don't recommend it. Um, but then if you can get the less lesser name brand um, glucose, I happen to have some Kero, so we're going to use this. And then we're going to use some food coloring to color our drops and some flavorings. If you want, instead of you can always substitute. Um, Juices, so if you want to make orange drops, you can use orange juice instead of water and instead of flavoring. I'd probably add a couple drops of flavoring just to bump up the orange flavor. Even if you're using orange juice, you can use lemon juice, which will give you a little tartness. We are not making um, sour gummies today. Those are my least favorite, <laughs> favorite candy. I think Dennis likes them though. Um, but if we were, we would get some uh, cit cit you would get some citric acid off of uh, Amazon. I can't find it here here in town. And you would mix it with the sugar, but we'll get into that. Okay. Um, is are people on? Mm -hmm. or, uh, do I have a feed? Alessio is on. Jennifer's on. Oh. Ar is on. Hey guys, Alessio. Alessio. Um, Jennifer. Oh. Do you match color and flavorings? Yes, I do. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I'm starving. Hurry up. Slow back up, bitch. Um, oh, I said um. Take a drink. I don't know if you guys were there. We're drinking every time I say um. <laughs> um oh, there we go again. So we're going to use three packets of clear, clear gelatin, which is about three tablespoons. And I'll just measure the first one out of just regular granulated, it's actually a little bit more, one, and we're going to put this in water and let it, what they call bloom, that means just that it softens up a little bit uh, before we start mixing it with our other ingredients. Mm. Oh, and there's Wendy making noises, that's two. <laughs> So it's probably about two and a half packets of uh, gelatin. You can get this at any of the grocery stores uh, here in town. Okay. And then we're gonna combine that and we'll put up the, uh, the recipe on all of our uh, uh, outlets. And on our uh, YouTube channel, the recipe will be there as well. So we're gonna mix that with a third a cup of water. We're gonna whisk it around a little bit just to get it all so it doesn't become a glump. And then we're gonna put that aside. Then we're gonna heat up. I got this little Bunsen burner stove here, wish me luck. We're gonna heat up a third, a quarter, sorry, a quarter cup of water with a quarter cup of corn syrup. What corn syrup does is it acts as, we're also gonna use gr white granulated sugar. Um, when you melt down white granulated sugar and then it cools down again, it likes to go back to its granulated state. So what corn syrup does is it uh, helps keep it in a suspended state so that our gummies once they're all done, I'm going to turn the stove on. Ooh, yay. Um, so once the, once our uh, candies are all done and cooked, they won't go get all gritty and grainy on us. And then we're going to use three fourths of a cup of white granulated sugar. And that just goes in here. And we're going to heat this up until the sugar is dissolved. I'm just going to say, um, because I need a drink. Um. <laughs> so now we're just going to heat this up. We want to heat this up to about 160 degrees. You don't want to walk away from the stove. You don't want to go to the bathroom, do your nails, anything like that. Because if you heat it up over that, uh, it starts, can't, uh, sugar has these 
stages of candy, we'll say. There's a softball, hardball, hard crack stage. We don't want this to get into those because we want the gelatin to do its work and keep it from getting hard and crunchy. These aren't hard candies, they're gummies. So we're just gonna take a digital thermometer and plop that in there while this is heating up. You don't have to stir it all the time. So, if you don't want to use, if you want these to be vegan, right now they're not because gelatin is from a, uh, is an animal uh, product. If you wanted to go vegan, you can use agar, which is a veg vegetable plant-based thickener. It does have a little bit of a consistency than uh, gelatin. It can get uh, harder and it can get, uh, I don't know, uh, it just has, a, you'll, you'll know, it just has a different texture, consistency, but it will all taste the same. Uh, both of these unflavored products add, don't add any color and they don't add any flavor. So this is up to about 140 degrees right now. I don't know if Dennis, you can, the, uh, it's starting to, oh. most of the sugar is dissolved. We're at about 146, 149, so it doesn't take long. Uh, let's see. She's queuing up to get fed. Oh, we fed the girls. Hi, Cherie. <laughs> Doggy in the kitchen. Yes, doggies are in the kitchen. Remember, these candies aren't for mass consumption. Uh, we're going to be 600 pounds by the time we're done with this, <laughs> this thing. We did eat all of our peanut butter cups last weekend. Dennis will tell you that I ate them, but he did actually have one or two. Um, this is actually up. So we're going to shut this off. Disconnect the gas. We're going to get a uh, pot holder. And now we're just going to let this cool. Actually, I'll put this over here a little bit. No, nope, I got ahead of myself. That's not right. We're going to take this away. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pour this into the gelatin. And it's gonna get clumpy, but that's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. So you just wanna loosen it from the bowl. Then we're gonna pour everything back into the pan. Now we just wanna completely melt the gelatin that's in there. Let it dissolve, working with the sugar, the corn syrup, and everything else. We don't wanna add any coloring or or um, flavoring until we're down to about 100 degrees. And we're gonna put them into little, uh, little squirt bottles, and that's how we're gonna get them in, in, in our molds. Cocktail time. Um, <laughs> orange. Um, hey, Rob Anthony, we are, thank you very much. Hope you guys are well as well. What's my favorite gummy bear? Um, I'm not a big gummy <laughs> gummy fan. Dennis, why don't you take that question? What's your What's your favorite gummy? I like apple. He likes apple. I don't have any apple flavoring. Uh, the other day I did mint uh, and I did lemon, and I think today we're going to do orange, orange and lemon, and uh, we're going to use. Uh, orange and lemon uh, food coloring. Okay, so this is almost melted down. So we're just gonna let that be for a minute. We're just gonna put it right over here. <clears throat> so now, to make our molds, like I said, we're just gonna use a nine by 13 sheet pan. This, this recipe actually makes enough where you could use two larger sheet pans uh, here, about one and a half times the size of what they are. Um, but for demonstration purpose today, we're just going to make 
the one smaller one. You want to get yourself some granulated sugar. Shuri, I think this is your tub. And what we're going to do is just dump the sugar and fill up the tray. You can give it a little shake to help even it out. Okay, we're going to put this down here. If I was Julia Child, I would just throw it on the floor behind her. Um, I was watching a special on her, and apparently, during filming of her early shows, she didn't have any running water in her kitchen. If you'll notice, she never washes her hands, and then, I don't know if somebody said something, but then there's a bowl of water next to her in a few of her later episodes, and after she use, cooks some chicken, she's like dipping her hand in this bowl of water, and then, then uh, uh, wipe, wiping it off. She also had some, uh, she had a crew all behind her, and she would just throw stuff, and the crew, their job was to grab things as she was throwing it on the floor behind her. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take an offset spatula. You're not going to get that, dear. <laughs> You're not going to get what? A crew behind you. I'm not going to get a crew. Dennis is not going to get behind me. <laughs> so just take an offset spatula, and we want to just even things out so we have a nice even surface. Now, if you were making sour gummies, like I said, you would be using citric acid, which here in town, I can't find anything, yet. any. You have to, uh, actually, I put a little too much in here. You have to order it online. And citric acid is just derived from uh, mostly lemons. It gives you a great sour lemon flavor. Um, that's a ton of sugar. Yes, it is. Uh, but you can reuse the sugar. You don't have to throw it away when you're done with it. If you're making sour ones, you probably you're gonna only use it to make because you would mix the citric acid with the sugar and then make the molds. Um, this is about one and a half kilos of <laughs> sugar. Um, so it's just about two pounds or so of, of sugar that we're using here. Then, you want to take, what do you want to take? Okay. We're going to do some gummy worms and then we're going to do some gum drops. So you, all you're going to do uh, is, uh, that's not really big enough. Here, I used this the other day. You can take uh, an end cap, you can take whatever you have, and just make little dents into the sugar. And that is going to give us our shape. So these aren't really gumdrops because we're not using a mold, but they're more like uh, chuckles. I don't know if anybody remembers chuckles from their kids, from when they were kids. Um, and then for our worms, you can do stuff like that. You can do straight lines. And here we'll do another squiggly one. And that's going to be our molds for our gummies. I won't want to dump this on the floor, Dennis. <laughs> so what else are people drinking out there? Again, oh, I'm drinking uh, rum and juice. Christy, hey Christy, we miss you too. Thanks for joining us. Um, everybody take a drink. <laughs> So we have our gelatin, it's all dissolved. Uh, let's check the temperature of it. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Dennis? You're hearing giggling in the background. <laughs> some of the comments. Oh, some of the comments, hey. Um, okay, we're at 99 degrees, which is perfect for this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to split this into two different uh, containers. We're just going to use little squeeze bottles. And squeeze bottles with covers. Right here, little spout so we can 
pull, pull it into it. And what did I say we're gonna do? We're gonna do, we're gonna do orange, that's mint, and lemon. So we're gonna do orange and lemon. And then for coloring, I have, uh, let's do red for the orange, and we'll do lemon for the lemon. I know, boring. Um, oh, I said um. <laughs> I have to do for this, if we were doing all of one, one flavor, I would say maybe a quarter teaspoon or so. For this, since we're splitting it in half, the lemon, we're just gonna do one, two, a couple. So I don't even know if it's an eighth of a teaspoon. And then the same thing with the orange flavor. Again, I don't know if it's even an eighth of a teaspoon. And then, oh. So this is just uh, candy, candy makers, um, like candy makers flavoring. But again, you can do mint. We did mint the other day. You can do vanilla. You can do no flavoring at all and just leave them, leave them clear if you want to. I have gel. <laughs> Dennis is giving a yucky face. Um, are those oils? They are. Um, Yes, these ones are oils, Christine. Hi, Christine, nice to see you. Uh, Wendy and I are watching. Oh, hey, Wendy, drinking, yay. Um, so for coloring, I have gel coloring. Actually, uh, liquid coloring works better. I just don't have any here. So we're just gonna, and this is sort of all by eye. So just give it a squirt, throw some in there. The same with the red. I don't know if I've used it yet, the mustard. Give it a squirt, throw some in there. If you want to add more, you can add more. Add a little yellow, make it orange. Uh, oh, Dennis is saying, add a little yellow to make the red orange, okay? There we go. Let's, uh, oh, I think it's going, there we go. Let's see how that works. And then we're gonna get a little funnel. and hope that we don't uh, spill it all over the place. Put that there. And the other half into this one. Doesn't have to be exact. Now this is gonna start to set up pretty quickly. can do if you're at home is you can get a pot of water, uh, bring it up to 100 degrees, and you can keep these sitting in it, and it will keep it liquid. Once it goes below 100, then things start to start to get, the gel really starts to set, but you can keep it in its liquid state at about 100 degrees for long enough to get all of your candies in. So that's a, that's a nice, interesting color there. It actually looks more like pink grapefruit. We'll see how that comes out. <laughs> and then we're doing the lemon. See, I don't know if you can see that. The, the gel doesn't tend to um, blend in as easily as the the um, the liquid food food colors. Are those oils? Did I already ask? Yes. Which? Okay. Yes. Sir. I'm watching telly. What do you mean you're watching telly? <laughs> okay. Then it's pretty easy. All you do is you go through and you just fill up the little indent of the cavity that you made in the sugar. We'll do a uh, half and half here. Ooh, 
that's an, that, it does. It looks like a pink grapefruit. That would be a nice flavor. A little tart. The lemon flavoring here does not add a tartness to it. Again, if you wanted to get sour or tart, you would need to either add some lemon juice on your own, some fresh lemon juice. You could put that in with your water. Uh, you could do all lemon juice, or you could cut your water, half lemon juice, half water. Um, or go the cit cit citric acid route. All right, so for our squiggly gummy, let's do worm. We're gonna do half and half. See how that goes. And then uh, we can do get fancy. Unfortunately, you guys aren't going to see these, but I'll take some photos of them when they come out of the mold tomorrow. Uh, and I'll post them on the site so that people can see. Is it time for me to say um? Is anybody else saying um? <laughs> yes, we are coming this summer. You better come this summer. I got all this freaking candy. I got all this freaking candy that we got to eat. Um, I don't know how, you know, and then we can do, uh, you can do, you know, be creative, enter as different designs, whatever you want to do. Um, nice color. Thanks, AR. Thanks, Rob. Uh, Alessa Schoolblind. Oh, I did not know that. Sorry. Um, Cherie, pretty colors. I like lemon. My kids are enjoying this. Oh, they want to make them. Yay! <laughs> hey, Chris. Nice to see you. That's gay. Well, hello. <laughs> um, okay, so now you're going to put these aside. This tray, you would work on your next tray, and you would keep on going. And in about a few minutes, what you're going to do, I'll just do one of them now, but after about five minutes or so, these are going to start to set. And then you're just going to take sugar, and you're going to put it on top of it. And then you're going to leave these overnight. Oh no, overnight? I can't eat them now? I guess you could squish the gummy liquid into your mouth. Actually, why don't you mix them with vodka? Mm. <laughs> and then we can do gummy shots. <laughs> um, so we're going to cover these with a little bit of sugar. It doesn't need to be a lot. You just want to get it all covered. Uh, and what this just, you know, helps set the top. So the sugar overnight, while well, these are hardening up, one, it's going to stick to them. I think I mentioned the chuckles or uh, gumdrops, you know, how they're all co coated in sugar. This is how it gets there. The sugar is going to stick to these all over the place. And it actually draws out some whatever extra moisture is in there. So that you get that nice, firm, gummy texture. I was a little more creative with this batch than, uh, than I am with this, what I'm going to show you through the magic of cooking and video. So I did these yesterday. And now we're going to let these sit. You really should let these sit for 12 hours. So either do them in the morning and then you can have them uh, at dinner just before the kids go to bed and then they're running all over the house. <laughs> or do them at night and give them, with, <laughs> to them, give them to the kids with uh, breakfast and they're good to go and hopefully a nap later in the day. So we're going to let those sit for 12 hours. And then... <coughs> Just going to take a fork and you're going to start uh, digging them out. Oh, maybe I should get a plate. So here are our lemon ones that we did. Again, they're just like little uh, gumdrops or chuckles. 
I used to love the uh, the licorice chuckles. Dennis did not like licorice chuckles. You can dust off any extra sugar. So the sugar is all, you know, it's stuck to it all over the place, just how it's supposed to be. Then I did some long worms. You can cut these worms up, the kids. I wouldn't let them run around the house with the whole one. Unless you're really daring, Chris. Uh, and it was my first attempt doing two colors. So I think I did a little better today. So we got the lemon and the green. This isn't a, so I did lemon and mint, not, uh, I had one, not the best flavor profile together, but there you go. You have a, you have a sample. And if you want to, you know, there, hmm. They have the nice sugar crust coating in the gummy center. And these ones are nice and lemon. I will try a mint one. <laughs> That's minty. <laughs> um, if you're using an essential oil, oh, I just got cleared out my sinuses. If you're using an essential oil, a food grade essential oil, which is what we have, uh, go a little easier. I would probably cut it in half, but over time, if you're gonna eat these in the same day, cut it in half. If you're gonna save them for a while, put them into a airtight Tupperware container. They'll last, no problem, weeks. Uh, you can also put them into the fridge and you should be able to put them in the freezer. They shouldn't have any issue uh, crystalling up. One last um and a drink for everybody. <laughs> and we'll see, um, oops, um. I hate licorice too, Dennis. <laughs> so, Tom Kelly. Oh, hey, Tom. Kelsey. Listen, yeah. Kelsey, how are you guys? <laughs> Great camera skills, Dennis. They look beautiful. Your granny says, cannot wait to come and see you. Yay, we hope you guys do. So that's about it for making candies today. These gummies are really easy. It does take a lot, but now, once you get all your candies out of here, just dump the sugar back into your uh, sugar bowl, really. You can use it, reuse it, you can reuse it for this, you can use it for baking. The, the mint flavor doesn't really get into the sugar. Uh, it mostly stays in, the, in the, the candies. So it's not like you need to throw this away. Uh, next week, oh, I didn't say um, um, next week, uh, Wednesday at 7 o'clock Central European time. We're gonna make chocolate covered cherries. Yum! <laughs> We're gonna do a, uh, a bittersweet chocolate with maraschino cherries uh, and the liquid center that uh, that you can get. Does anybody have any questions? Well done, chef. Thanks. Awesome job. Easter eggs. Easter egg. I know. Uh, we're gonna get into some chocolate making skills and some molds. I don't have any out here right now. It's gonna be a little late for Easter, but uh, eventually we'll get into some of that as well. So again, I wanna say thanks everybody. Dennis Watts says thanks everybody. We uh, appreciate you being here. We really need you to like Sweet, uh, Sweet Teachers page. Again, we're on Instagram, we're on YouTube, and this video will go up on YouTube as well. And then we're on, what did I say? Facebook, <coughs> Instagram, YouTube. We're on all the social media sites. We're really trying to bump up our viewership. We ask that you share. If you've liked the Seaches, uh, Sweet Seachers webpage, go to the website and then invite all of your friends. Tell them that you know us. We're trying to make a go of this. This is, you know, as with everybody else, income has stopped for everybody. We uh, had planned on having this open earlier this month. That is all stopped, so everything's come to a screeching halt. Our vacation rental has come to a screeching halt. So with getting above 5,000 likes, then we start to potentially see some kind of income flow. So we're doing what we can, and I will reach out to you as well uh, later in the week to get you to uh, please share and ask your friends to like our page. All right.
Thanks, everybody. We love you. Stay, be well. Stay safe.